biggest success has been the public demand and acceptance of the vaccine. We engaged the public particularly on the AstraZeneca vaccine as it had been rejected by countries due to reported side effects. By the time the vaccine arrived, people wanted to be protected from severe illness and death. Our second success was the minimal loss of vaccine doses. Establishment of the COVID-19 training academy allowed for development of a standard curriculum for all vaccinators, those in government and supporting partners, and ensured that everyone was following the same procedure. Our third success was in mobilizing enough resources. First, government committed adequate money for vaccines. Secondly, the Cash Foundation committed to purchase vaccines to cover the whole nation and financed the development of cold chain storage for all vaccination candidates. And thirdly, significant donation from the Republic of China, Taiwan for procurement of vaccine for COVID-19. Like other countries, we face challenges which have included one, the access to vaccine, this still remains a challenge. We're unable to access the vaccines in adequate quantities and time frame we require. We did not spend enough time to team build between our government teams and the new vaccination partners, leading to miscommunication. We are working on this and ensuring uh, that the teams and communication are strengthened. And another challenge has been the, leg, the lagging behind of children's vaccination due to competing COVID-19 priorities. We are looking to rope in all partners for the national COVID-19 inoculation campaign and not overburden our EPI team to allow them to focus on their core mandate. First, constant engagement with the public via press conferences, regular radio sports to share information helps strengthen the trust with the nation. We shared information on various things. The process of vaccination from pre-registration to vaccination, the priority groups for vaccination, other available candidates the government is trying to procure, information from the research conducted in South Africa that resulted in the rejection of AstraZeneca vaccine, and announcing vaccination sites in time for community members to know when to show up, with engagement of local leadership in planning, delivery, and, and, and the campaign itself. The commitment and dedication of our healthcare workers cannot be overstated. Without them, we would not have been able to start the campaign. Combining our strong children's vaccination program with an established community NGO with good system allowed us to move quickly on the ground. First is the disparity in the distribution of vaccines between rich and poor countries. It has been said to learn that having money does not guarantee access. Finally, when we could access the vaccines, we were getting such low doses. Our first delivery from COVAX facility was only 12,000 doses. If we had not received the donation from the Republic of India, we would not have reached a 3% of population. We appreciate the Director General's efforts in talking to the richer countries but have realized that our influence as a country in purchasing is very limited, and this is very sad. But to succeed, political will is required from the very top. It takes the whole of government to succeed in vaccination. Lastly, decisive leadership is key. We were quick to reach out to the research institute that conducted the study on AstraZeneca themselves and AstraZeneca themselves to get an understanding of the side effects firsthand. 
Additionally, we spoke to the head of public health in the UK to learn more from their experience using AstraZeneca vaccine and how best to manage side effects. This helped our health team to gain a thorough understanding and help the public with this understanding to manage expectations. We also learned to reduce misinformation. From very early in the COVID response, we monitored misinformation and established a very close relationship with the public, such that they now understand that the Ministry of Health provides guidance that is received from WHO. Lastly, we cannot say this enough, preparation, preparation, and preparation. Thank you.